What happens when a senior engineer at Red Hat, a member of the Lutris development team, and the creator of Proton GE decides to create a Linux distribution? Well, all three of those titles above belong to the same person, Thomas Kreider. You all may know him as Glorious Egg Roll. And what you get is the promising Nobara project, a distro powered by Fedora and targeted squarely at gamers and content creators. That's what we're looking at today on eBuzz Central. Hey everybody, it's Troy. What we're going to take a quick look at today is the Nobara project. Now, what this is, is a distribution that Kreider himself is producing, okay? They do have a website. We're going to go to it here real quick. It is just a landing page as of right now, but it kind of breaks down what they're doing. And he's going to build this on top of Fedora. What he wants to make is the ultimate distribution for the gamer or content creator. And as you all know, Fedora is a very good workstation OS. However, anything involving any kind of third-party or proprietary packages is usually absent from a fresh install, and what he's wanting to do is give the user a typical point-and-click feel when they use this OS. Now, he's going to have extra software included on it. It's going to have OBS Studio. It's going to have codec packages, such as those for GStreamer, proprietary NVIDIA drivers out of the box, custom Mesa ACO drivers for AMD Radeon users, various wine dependencies, and Lutris. Now, you gamers out there, this is going to be a newer version than what's available in the repositories, and it goes beyond simply just slapping extra packages onto the ISO. The RPM Fusion repositories are enabled out of the box. This definitely removes some friction that some users do have trying to get their system up and running and get it ready for gaming and content creation. Additionally, it's going to use X11 as the default desktop renderer, but you'll still be able to switch Wayland on whenever you want to. Because at this time, X11 is still more compatible for gaming, and it's required for things like Proton GE's AMD FSR patch. And then little touches that they're adding also is it's going to have uh, support for the Xbox One wireless dongle and the proprietary firmware required for installing it automatically on your first run. The kernel's also going to get F-Sync injected, which is really nice. Now, this is still in the very early days of the project. There is a to-do list for the project. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to zip on over to their website or landing page. And as you can see, this is just a temporary placeholder. I'll be sure to include the link to this site below. So if you're interested, you can zip on over and take a look at it. But it, right here, it tells you the Nobara project, to put it simply, is for Dora Linux with user-friendly fixes. It's a good workstation OS, obviously, we all know that. And then kind of tells you everything that's going to come prepackaged and injected into it right out of the box. And then the fixes that they've added to it to make it run well with gaming. And then they also got links down here that you can get more information on different things that are being added or different things that are being done to this operating system. And then all the extra utilities that are put in place for streaming and for gaming. And then down here, it gives you some notes. Currently, only one ISO exists made from the default Fedora Workstation ISO. Now, when you do download this ISO, guys... It's still themed with Fedora, but he is working on distro-specific theming for Nabara. And then when you come down here, you've also got the workstation. It comes in two flavors. It comes in GNOME or KDE. And the kickstart files and instructions for building the ISO yourself, should you decide to want to do that, can be found right here. So all the information that you need is pretty much laid out right here. You've got a lot of different places you can go and get more information about the distribution or ask questions and things like that. And then the, he's got a couple game-specific notes down here, one for Dying Light and then CSGO. So what we're going to do real quick is we're going to zip over to the desktop. And if you download Nabara, throw it on a USB or open it up into a virtual machine, this is the screen you're met with. And like I said earlier, it comes with the standard Fedora theming. But what you don't see is what's under the hood. So let's open this up. And when you start looking through things right here, this looks like a pretty typical Fedora. You've got your contacts. You've got GNOME boxes, screenshot cheese. But then you go to the next page. You've got DOSBox staging. You've got Caden Live installed out of the box. You've got Steam. You've got your software store, registry editor. You've got OBS Studio installed out of the box, Okay. And then, of course, you've got Lutris. If you open up Lutris, Lutris will start checking for runtime updates. So we're going to wait for it to update real quick. 
Okay, and it's finally pulled up. And over here, you if you're not familiar with Lutris, this is just a place you can come in and set up all of your gaming sites, whether it be GOG, Humble Bundle, Steam. And then, of course, you've got your runners down here. You've got Linux, Steam, and Wine. But this is a more up-to-date version of Lutris than you're going to find in the repository. So it's going to have a better chance of working for you. It just makes things a lot easier. And speaking of easy, have you visited the eBuzz Central store yet? The easiest place to come and get your Linux-inspired gear or merch, whatever you want to call it. We've got Arch-inspired, Debian-inspired. We also have a new design that just hit today, which is the Cali-inspired shirts. We've got hoodies, we've got sweatshirts, and there's It's Okay If You Don't Like Linux, Not Everyone Has Good Taste. Then there's our Cali Inspired. So it's a good place to come if you like Linux and you want to wear your pride in a hoodie or a sweatshirt or a t-shirt. And then we've also got, like I said, water bottles, tumblers, mugs. So if there's something you'd like to see on the store that's not there, please drop me a line in the comments below. And if there's something you'd like me to change, drop a line in the comments below. But if you would, just zip on over, take a look around, okay? Now back to Nobara. And what we're going to do now is we've already looked at Lutris. Down here, you can take a tour. You've got Wine Boot, Wine Configuration, Wine Files, Wine Help, Wine OLE View, Wine Software Uninstaller, Wine WordPad. You've got Wine Mine, Wine Tricks, Yum Extender, and it's got Steam installed out of the box. So this is really nice, guys. What we got is somebody that's actually just taking a distribution, a solid distribution at that, and injecting it with everything that somebody's going to need to properly game and properly create content. Now, I know we're going to have people out there talk about Garuda or Regatta OS, and I still have people that say they have issues with that. But when you have somebody that's on the Red Hat team, the Lutris team, the creator of Proton GE, and he's going to take and put all of this into one distribution and really give the public a point-and-click solid answer to gaming on Linux, I don't think you can go wrong with it. Let me know what you all think. Is this something you might download, throw on a USB, put in a virtual machine and take for a test drive? Let me know. Like I said, this is the very early stages, but this is definitely a project to keep an eye on especially if you're a Linux gamer or content creator. And don't forget, zip on over, take a look at the store. Let me know what you think. I'll be sure to include a link below. And please, before you leave today, like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel, buying us a cup of coffee, or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next video.